What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. Lot of spam, lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers, so please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put any amount of money in that brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks for just trying out their brokerage app. Those 12 free stocks will be worth up to $30,600. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up that new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Well, guys, I bought my dream home about 10 days ago. And I did a video the very same day I closed and signed the documents to take delivery of this custom built dream house. And you guys responded to that video pretty well. You've also responded very well to the videos that I've done in this whole Dream Home series. And that's kind of what I like to call it, right? So today, I thought I would give you the five things I don't like about my brand new custom-built Dream Home. Now, again, guys, this is all in fun. And I'm doing this to give you guys... A, a, a different look at my lifestyle and let you guys know that anything's possible. Um, you guys know my story, 26 years old, no net worth, no job, and just decided I was going to do what I needed to do financially in order to put myself in a position at some point in the future to be able to do the things that are very important to me and not have to worry about how I'm paying for it. And this dream home was one of those things on my bucket list. So let's dive on into the five things that I don't like about my dream home. Number one is pretty obvious, the echo. I know you guys have dropped some comments said, hey man, this is what you need to do to kind of reduce that echo. And it's a big house for me at least. It's about 4,000 square feet and it's all tile plank tile and so with the extremely high ceilings it's pretty hard to get rid of this echo now i know i could probably get some type of special microphone to attach to uh, my iphone or go buy some expensive camera with a microphone combo all this other different stuff that other youtubers use but that's just not my thing man i'm a simple guy i enjoy recording my videos with my iPhone and I can edit them on the iPhone and then I move on down the road. I don't wanna turn this into some big old production. Um, certainly I could if I wanted to, but that's not my thing, right? So the echo is one of the things I don't like. Um, I will be getting some area rugs and things like that. This area right here, I'm gonna have a really big nine by 12 area rug. So hopefully that will um, reduce the echo somewhat. But as I've mentioned to you guys in the past, I'm somewhat of a minimalist when it comes to this house. So I'm not gonna have a bunch of furniture. I'm not gonna have a bunch of things in here. So hopefully you guys will just be able to be okay with the echo as long as I'm you know, giving you some good content to help you get to your financial freedom. Let's move on to number two. That is cleaning this place is going to be a nightmare, right? Um, like I said, this thing is 4,000 square foot and wow, it's a lot of ground to cover. And, and, and one of the easiest remedies for that for a per person like me in my situation who can financially afford it is to just get someone to clean the house for me. Yeah, I could do that. 
eh, I'm a little bit OCD, guys. I, I like my house a certain way. I like it cleaned a certain way. So um, I'm probably going to be the one cleaning this house um, from top to bottom, right? Now, the good news is uh, there's not going to be a lot of people traffic in my house once I get it dialed in and, and, and everything's ready to go. It, there's going to be very few people that traffic through here. So uh, just like my current house that I live in, I, I clean that one as well. And typically it's not a problem. Now this house is almost, I mean, it's, it's a good bit larger than my other house. So a lot to clean. Also, I wanted to get you guys opinion on something. Let me walk you over here to the kitchen and you guys help me out with this one. So this right here, the, all the all the fixtures in this house are this satin black. My question is, how do I clean this without damaging the satin black look? Um, so if you guys can drop me some comments, because all of the fixtures are black. Let me show you another one here at the wet bar. Here's another one. Let's go into the room. And I'm going to show you the bathroom. And of course, everything is. Everything's black, right? Even in the shower. So my question to you guys is, what can I get to clean it that won't be harmful to the, the satin coating on these fixtures? So please drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know. But again... Cleaning the house is the second thing about the house that I don't like, but I'm going to clean it anyways because I'm pretty particular and OCD and I don't want cleaning people coming in here. I'll just rather do it myself. The third thing that I don't like about my dream home is the cost. Let me, let me tell you what I mean. I don't mean the cost of the house itself. I'm really talking about the cost associated with owning a 4,000 square foot house in this location. My taxes on this house are going to be twice as much as the taxes as I pay on my current house that I'm getting ready to sell in a, in a month or so. Um, you're talking about upwards of, I don't know, fifteen dollars to $16,000 in property taxes. The second thing is I got my standard HOA fees, which are very similar to the community that I live in now. Uh, it's very similar. But on top of my normal HOA fees, I have a golf membership fee that I have to pay monthly. And guys, I don't play golf. <laughs> so uh, some of you might say, well, golly, man, why would you live in a community that has a golf membership fee if you don't play golf. Well, for me, guys, it was more about the quality of life. It was more about the house, the location. And when I did my calculations on it, I just figured for the price every month that I got to pay for this golf membership, even though I don't play golf, it's worth it. Now, with that golf membership, I do get access to some things here in this golf club community that uh, some folks don't have access to because I got the golf membership. So that's cool. I get access to several things that are really nice, but it's still a pretty decent little price. It's like 500 bucks a month and six grand a year for someone that don't even play golf. But again, like I said, when you think about it, at least the way I thought about it, you, you got the community, you got the house. It's worth it to me. But again, that is the third thing <laughs> I don't like about my dream home is the increased cost uh, above and beyond what I was paying at the old house. So I guess if you're going to move and, and buy a house like this, you, 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 you prepare yourself for the additional expense. The fourth thing I don't like about my new dream home is moving. Now, I know that's not directly a knock on the house itself, but moving into the new house is, is a indirect uh, reason why I don't like the, the new house. And I'll, I'll tell you why. 
So I haven't moved in 11 years when I bought my last house. So now I'm starting to move everything to the new house. Now I bought all, I'm gonna buy all new furniture and I'm gonna bring a couple pieces from the old house. So that's not where the problem comes in. The problem comes in when I bought the new furniture, right? And it also comes in when I have to clean out all of the stuff that I got at the old house. Because remember, the, the old house is going up for sale, so I can't have a bunch of crap just there. And I've accumulated a lot of stuff uh, in my garage from sports, uh, coaching seven on seven football and things like that, that I got to do something with. Also, I got a lot of stuff in there from when my young daughter was growing up that I have to, uh, we're going to save some of it, but some of it we got to get rid of. And then I got a lot of stuff myself, honestly, guys. I got a lot of clothes and shoes. I'm a big shoe, tennis shoe guy. So I got tons of tennis shoes, tons of athletic stuff that I wear every day that I got to get rid of. So the moving part of it is tough. Then you got to get here. You got to get all the cable, the internet. You got to get everything hooked up, transferred. So it's been quite an eye-opening experience just trying to move. And I'm not even halfway through the process. And then the second thing about moving that irritated me and really got me uh, upset was I, I spent a lot of money, at least in my opinion, on some new furniture. And a couple videos ago, I showed you guys some of that new furniture. And unfortunately, some of that furniture came damaged. Now, I don't know if it was damaged from the warehouse where the actual uh, furniture store, I bought it from stores there, brand new furniture. I don't know if it was damaged there uh, or if it was actually damaged when it was being delivered. I believe it was damaged for the most part, when it was being delivered. Because one thing that I've, I've noticed uh, with this process is um, the, the delivery folks uh, are not as professional or um, caring when it comes to this furniture that they're delivering. And again, guys, I'm not, I, I don't wanna seem like I'm, I'm painting you know, a blanket on, on all delivery folks. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just telling you in my experience, in this experience, it, 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 it you know, if I'm grading it, I got to give it an F. And it really, it really kind of took a little bit away from my experience of owning a new home just because of that bad experience with the delivery. And it's not happened once, it's happened twice from the same company. Now, I'm not going to mention any names of the company or anything like that because that's not what I'm here to do is batch. I'm just telling you my experience when I, when I talk about, you know, things I don't like about the house, the moving part, yeah, that delivery stuff falls into it. And man, it was not a good experience, guys. So I, I, I personally have ordered other stuff, but I just ordered it online. I ordered it online. It, it got here. I put it together myself. My little nook table right here that I'm gonna eat breakfast at. I bought this online, man, the chairs, the table, and put it all together myself. I also put together these nice little uh, counter stools that I purchased online. I put that together myself. Um, I got these really nice, uh, call them I guess end tables, coffee tables, whatever. I think they're end tables. That one right there. This one right here, and then this one right here. All of this I bought online, guys. It came damage-free, and um, I just put it together. And I tell you what, I didn't pay a fraction of the cost for this stuff that I paid for the big furniture, like the, you know, like the couch, um, the recliner, all the bedroom furniture in here, right? All this bedroom furniture. This piece, all this piece, this stuff was pretty dang on expensive. And again, uh, my experience was not real good uh, with the, the delivery folks. So let's move on, though, and go to number five thing that I don't like about the house. And that is going to be these white walls, guys. <laughs> my house is full of white walls. 
The theme in the house is black and white, right? So you got these white walls everywhere, guys. Every room, every nook, every cranny, it's all white. And when I initially started, you know, looking at buying this house, I just, it, I, I didn't even think about that. I was like, huh? I didn't even think about keeping them clean, right? Um, the good news is, like I said, I'm OCD and I know I'm, I'm pretty particular and I know personally I won't be doing anything to the walls. But when my family comes over and, and things of that nature and other friends come over, um, it's going to be hard to keep it clean. And I, I got some uh, uh, the, the, the paint code for the particular white uh, uh, paint um, scheme that's on the walls. I got that paint code out in the garage. So I'm going to get me a couple gallons of paint and have them on standby. So when they, when they do get scratched or whatever, I can just clean them, clean them off and go on about my business. But that is the fifth thing that I don't uh, like about the house is me having to repaint these walls every time they, they get messed up in certain areas. Now, of course, all of them won't get messed up, but in certain high traffic areas, they will. And then I'll have to take some time and repaint them. So there are my five things, guys, that I don't like about the new dream home. And again, guys, this was just all in fun. I'm over the moon. I'm blessed. I'm so happy I was able to put myself in a position to be able to afford this type of house and be able to live in it. You know, look at this beautiful pool out here, man. I get to, in the summertime, get out here and just enjoy it and get in it. You know, I got the pool here, the fooling pool. Then I got the jacuzzi over here. I got the, the, the outdoor kitchen over there. So it's going to be a lot of fun just having some family over, having some friends over and just enjoying it. Drop me some comments, man, and let me know what you think about the five things I don't like about the dream home. And um, certainly let me know about these satin fixtures. What can I use that doesn't have any harmful chemicals in it to clean those without damaging them? I would greatly appreciate any comments down in the comment box to help me out on that. If you want them 12 free stocks from Weeble, click on that link down in the description box, open up that new Weeble account today, go get that free stock, go get that free money, if you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. Smash the like button. Thoughts become things. You can see it in your mind. You can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace.